Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Frieza got knocked into a pool and now he wants revenge. Brooklyn guys stole Jeffy's wish again. That's starting to get pretty old. But he wished to become all powerful. Now, will Jeffy ever wake up? Let's find out. I'm gonna get my revenge! What's your plan, Lord Frieza? The plan is for me to collect all the Dragon Balls so I can be all powerful and I will never lose again! Well, what do you want me to do? You, you stupid monkey, you're gonna go and distract Jeffy so he doesn't get in the way of finding the Dragon Balls and finding it before me! Well, how am I gonna distract him? He's gonna think I'm trying to trick him again. I don't know! Figure it out, you stupid ape! Well, apes aren't actually stupid, sir. Uh, sometimes monkeys can talk with sign language. Oh, I wish you were talking in sign language right now so I wouldn't have to hear you! Now leave! Uh, okay. Oh, God. Nurse, is Jeffy gonna be okay? Well, he was hurt real bad. He's lucky he didn't die. Die? Yeah, no more fighting now, you hear? Jeffy, you hear that? No more looking for Dragon Balls and no more fighting. But Daddy, I have to find the Dragon Balls to get my wish. No, every time you find the Dragon Balls, something bad happens, so you're grounded from ever looking for Dragon Balls ever again. But Daddy! No buts. Jeez. No G's either, so come on, you're going to your room. Oh. So Jeffy, you're gonna stay in your room and play with toys like a normal kid. But Daddy, I wanna play with balls. Dragon Ball! Oh man, I'm so mad at my daddy for grounding me from looking for Dragon Balls. What's the point being able to go super riri uh, 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 if I can still be grounded by my parents? I guess what they say is true. With great power comes great riri responsibilities. Uh. Marvin, don't you think you were a little hard on Jeffy? You heard the nurse, baby. He almost died. It's for his own good. But he's sad now. Well, would you rather him be sad or dead? <sighs> You're right, Marvin. Hey, what if we painted Easter eggs to look like Dragon Balls and hide them around the house and he can go look for them? Well, I mean, at least he'd be doing something and he'd kind of think it was fun. <gasps> Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, okay? Brooklyn T Guy is considered armed and very dangerous, and he's currently flying around destroying the city. If you see him, take cover immediately and pray he doesn't see you. Huh? Ah! <laughs> That's right! I'm all powerful and I have a giant wiener! Nobody's safe! Oh my god, Marvin, look! He's destroying the city! Well, you can forget about the Easter eggs. Well, Marvin, what if Jeffy could stop him? There's no way Jeffy can stop that guy. You saw him get knocked out on the couch, and you can definitely forget about the Easter eggs. Okay, Marvin, I guess you're right. Yeah. It's better to let someone else go stop that guy. Like the cops. That's their job. And don't you dare bring up those Easter eggs again. Okay, Marvin, I get it. No Easter eggs. Well, if my daddy says that I can't go look for Dragon Balls, I'll just hit my own balls. <laughs> hey, Jeffy! What do you want, Vagina? It's Vegeta! Do you want me to kick your boss's ass again? You didn't kick his butt, you just made him fall into the pool, which is technically off limits. Well, don't report me to the Dragon Ball community. I have to, because what you did was off limits. Was this off limits? <laughs> you didn't think I would dodge that? I'm the prince of all sayings. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. Get that witch out of here. Whoa, it went into the hoop. Yeah, that was so sick. I have an idea. Instead of fighting, how about we play a 1v1 game of key basketball? First person to five points wins, and the loser has to admit the other one's more powerful. Oh, you're on stinky vagina. Okay, I get ball first. And... <laughs> Swish! All right, it's my turn. Yeah. Hey! Uh, hey, that was a travel. You didn't dribble. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to dribble it. That's the rules of key basketball, so now it's my ball. Your point didn't count. 2-0. Oh, man. All right, my ball. Oh, where we going? Where we going? Into transmission. What? And now it wasn't a travel because I teleported. Well, I'm still winning two to one. Wait, you're not going to try to block me? No, I'm going to block you from back here. Okay. Get that shit out of here. That's goaltending. I still get the point. That's bullshit. No, it's just, that's what the rules call. It's called goaltending. So I'm up three one. And if I shoot from back here, it's worth two points. So I'll win if I make this. Yeah. Yeah, I win! Vagina, you cheated! I didn't cheat, I'm just better. And now you have to admit that I'm more powerful than you. Well, I can't do that because you're not Super Saiyan. Well, I'm the prince of all sayings. Yeah, but you're not a Super Saiyan. Well, how do I learn how to be a Super Saiyan? I don't know, you just gotta learn. Well, can you teach me how to be a Super Saiyan? 
Uh, I guess since you did win in the basketball game, I guess I'll teach you the ways. <gasps> yeah, please teach me how to be a Super Saiyan, please! Alright, so the first thing I do is I raise my hand. Right now I beat my diaper. And then you gotta get really mad! <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool that you went Super Saiyan! Okay, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm angry, it's not working! Why isn't it working? You just gotta keep yelling louder and louder and louder! Like this! Marvin, what's all that yelling from Jiffy's room? He's probably throwing a temper tantrum because we won't let him go look for balls. Hey there. He's gonna try to kill us! What if he tries killing Jiffy? Get the water bottle! Okay! Bottle. What, what, no, stop, stop. I'm not a cat. Stop spraying me. Well, what are you doing here? I'm not here to kill anybody. Well, you're just lying to try to get us to turn our back so you can kill us. What, no, I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't even have my powers anymore. Prove it. Uh, <clears throat> See? Nothing. How'd you lose your powers? Well, I'll tell you. So here's what happened. After I got my powers, I decided to go look for all the Dragon Balls again because I wanted to wish for my own planet because I thought that would be cool. So I was flying around, destroying buildings, flipping cars and stuff until eventually I did find all the Dragon Balls and I wished for my own planet full of naked women and the aliens from Toy Story because I thought that would be funny. So I'm just hanging out on my planet with my naked women and the aliens and the naked aliens because things got kind of weird there for a little while. And then all of a sudden this white and purple alien dude shows up and he kind of looks like a Digimon and his name was like refrigerator or popsicle or something cold, I don't remember. And then he starts yelling at me about how he's the best in the universe and how he wants all my Dragon Balls, because I guess my planet just came with Dragon Balls. I didn't realize that planets just naturally had Dragon Balls, but whatever. I was like, listen man, I don't know who you are, but you're not getting my Dragon Balls. So then he starts pointing his finger, and then he starts shooting these lasers out, and he's killing all my babes and all the aliens, and I'm like, you wanna go, dog? So I start throwing haymakers. I'm teleporting around, I'm punching them and stuff, Stuff, and I punch him in the balls and it turns out he doesn't have balls because I don't really know what kind of gender he is because he's like an alien or something and then he says look over there a naked woman and I mean I look naturally you know because like naked and then while I'm looking he knocks me out he steals all my dragon balls he wishes from my powers and he blows up my planet so that's how I lost my powers why Toy Story aliens I don't know they seemed cool seemed like they knew how to party until they started banging all my hot chicks I'll never get the sound of that squeaking out of my head well you're still not allowed here because you kept stealing Jeff his wishes. Hey, come on, man. Look, I'm done with all the Dragon Balls and the wishes. I don't care about that stuff anymore. I just want to be normal now. No, you knocked Jeffy out with your stupid power, so leave. No, really. I'm, I'm really sorry. I even wrote you this letter about how sorry I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, see? See how big the frowny face is? That, that's because I'm very sorry. That's how big sorry I am. Well, you should still leave. Marvin, look the news! Breaking news! A guy named Lord Freezer has been flying around destroying the city. And I'm not gonna stop until I kill Jeffy. Oh, where are you, Jeffy? I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh my god, Marvin, he's coming for Jeffy! What are we gonna do? Oh, you guys will be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. What if that's him? We have to hide Jeffy! Oh no, that's not him. That's probably all the I'm sorry pizzas I ordered to show you how so sorry I am. But there's like seven pizzas, so I'm gonna need you guys to come to the door and help me carry him. Okay. Hello? Special delivery? Did someone order a piece of pie or a piece of pie? Well, you really messed them up. <laughs> yeah. You got my 20 bucks? Hold on for a second. There we go. Oh, yeah, I don't usually betray people, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So, uh, we gonna have that take over the world pizza party? Oh, not just yet. I gotta murder them first. Murder? <laughs> you, you didn't say anything about murder. Oh, any last words, puny humans? Hey, 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 you didn't say anything about murdering anyone. You just said you were gonna hurt them. Oh, I'm trying to take over the world. And if I wanna hurt Jeffy, I have to hurt everyone around him. <laughs> they already look pretty hurt to me. Oh no, they need to die! <laughs> Them. That's really messed up, man! That's the point? That is what murder is? Uh, do you want to die too? No. Uh, that's what I thought! Now get out of my way. Jeffy! Where are you? I gotta do something. Jeffy, where are you? Okay, it's time for me to finally be a hero. I finally get to kill him. <laughs> you thought you could kill Lord Frieza with a bat? Not really, no. <laughs> <sighs> Back to business. Oh, Jeffy, come out and play!
Peekaboo! I see you. Oh, Lord Frieza, did you find the Dragon Balls? <laughs> sure did. I found two sets, one on the planet I already destroyed, and these. <laughs> what are you going to use your two wishes for? I already used one to steal somebody else's powers to become all powerful. <laughs> and I'm going to use these to make sure every monkey dies a horrible death. <gasps> Wish for me to die? I mean, yeah, you're useless. <laughs> I already found the Dragon Balls, and all I need is myself and my finger. <laughs> what? So you're really gonna kill me after everything I did for you? <laughs> Fajita, you did it! You finally went Super Saiyan! I did! I did go Super Saiyan! Ooh, look at you! You finally grew some hair! Big whoop, stupid monkey! I'll show you a stupid monkey! <laughs> <laughs> I got this all the years I had to put up with Lord Frieza, and now I'm gonna get my revenge! <laughs> Too easy. Vagina, no! I'm gonna kill you! Like how I killed your parents? You didn't kill my parents! Oh, yes, I did. Good luck! Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't want you making a wish. I need to take these. <laughs> Come on, man. See, look. Dead, like you're about to be. You killed my parents! You're a monster freezer! <laughs> Poor effort. <laughs> my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Let me go finish him. <sighs> you did it now. Do you give up? If you give up now, I'll spare your life. All you have to do is become my slave for eternity and suck my toes. They're big and pointy. <laughs> I don't give up. <laughs> you know, this is only 10% of my power, right? You want to see 100? Not really. I'm too <laughs> I'm too powerful. Why the fuck am I so powerful? Why? <laughs> Tell me you quit. Please tell me you quit. I want to hear you beg for your life. <laughs> beg! 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 Uh, never. <laughs> Destructo this! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe my mommy and daddy are dead. Oh, wait. I have all the Dragon Balls, so I still get one wish. I can't wish for them to come back to life. Dragon come, dragon come, let y'all make the dragon come. Hi there, I'm Boopy the Dragon, and you get one wish. I wish that everyone that Lord Frieza killed was back to life. Your wish is my command, poof. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Yay, my mommy and daddy are back to life. Wait, back to life? We died? Yeah, but I used the Dragon Balls to wish you guys back to life. Hey, you wish me back to life too? That's really nice. I thought you hated me. Well, I really just wanted my mommy and daddy back to life. Oh, well, you got me too, so thank you. And, and guys, I am actually really sorry about betraying you again. What? No, you, you betrayed us. You said there were pizzas. Well, there were pizzas. Yeah, Marvin, there were pizzas. I just didn't tell you the part where he was going to kill you. But to be fair, I didn't know he was going to kill you. He was just supposed to hurt you, so. So, guys, what'd you get for Christmas? Nothing, dude. I still don't have a family. It'd be really hard for Santa's elves to make you a family, Joseph. What about you, Cody? Well, I celebrate Hanukkah, so... Well, my dad gave me a hundred dollars for Christmas. What, dude? What you gonna buy? A family? Calm down, Joseph. I really wanted to buy toys, but there's no toy stores around here. Yeah, I wish there was a store with toys, like, for us. Yeah, like, they had toys that are there for us. Yeah, like, toys... Are us. <gasps> you remember you remember guys, Toys Are Us? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was the fun store. Yeah, but it went out of business because they didn't have any money. Yeah. I wonder what happened to Jeffrey. I'm right here. No, 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 not you, Jeffy. I'm talking about Jeffrey the giraffe. I like giraffes. But no, Jeffrey was a giraffe and he was the mascot for Toys R Us. Yeah. I'm gonna look him up, dude. Yeah, Joseph, look at what he's doing now. Oh dude, apparently he's homeless. He's homeless? Oh well, yeah, Junior, he doesn't have a job and there's not that many jobs that a giraffe can do. He could be an NBA player. Well, yeah, I guess he could. Oh dude, he's doing underground fire! for money oh he's getting his ass beat <laughs> oh, I, I want to watch i want to watch all right guys i want a clean fight winner takes all go oh, 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 oh. yeah fight back bitch fight back nigga fight back nigga oh 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 fight nigga fight he's done 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 he
Poor Jeffrey. Yeah, he ate those punches. At least we know he's not starving. Yeah, he ate that six piece with a biscuit, goddamn. <laughs> I wish there was something we could do to help him. What, like get him boxing lessons? No, Cody, he's homeless. I think we should go find him and offer him to stay at my house. Junior, I don't think your dad is gonna let a giraffe live in your house. It's Jeffrey the giraffe, the mascot for Toys R Us. Of course he's gonna let him stay. I don't know, Junior. It seems like a bad idea to let a homeless giraffe in your house. Why? Well, he's doing underground street fights. He's pretty desperate. Come on, Cody. He's a childhood mascot, just like Jared from Subway. And if Jared from Subway was outside, would you let him? In? No, no, I wouldn't. But what about all the sandwiches? I don't think the sandwiches matter anymore. Five dollar? No. Five dollar no, foot no, long? No, no, none of that matters. I think he's getting a lot of foot longs in prison. He's in prison? Oh, yeah. For what? Uh, just shut up, Junior. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, come on, look. Let's go find Jeffrey the giraffe and offer him to stay at my house. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Uh, guys, I think I found him. <laughs> Jeffrey? Oh, dude, he's down bad. What? We'll work for food. Is there anything we can do, Jeffrey? Oh, yeah, we'll work for... Uh, oh, 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 no, Jeffrey. You Come don't... on. Oh, you don't have to do all that. No, no Jeffrey. Jesus I mean, Christ. But if you're offering... Uh, Jeffrey, yeah. listen. Uh, we have a house. You can come live with us for a while until you're on your feet. <laughs> I, th I think he wants to go, dude. I think he's pretty desperate. Come on. Uh, I don't know what he's doing now, but he's celebrating. Come, come to our house, Jeffrey. Uh, come to our house. On, this way, Jeffrey. All right, Jeffrey, welcome to my house. Go inside, guys. Okay, dude. Watch your head, Jeffrey. Yeah. Oh, shit, guys, Jeffrey fell down. Oh, Jeffrey, we told you to be careful. Come dude, on. Do you need help? Come on. Come on, Jeffrey, you mess. Ugh. All right, Jeffrey, welcome to my house. Junior, he's really tall. I mean, I know he's a giraffe, but damn. So what do we do with him now? What, what do you mean, Junior? This is your idea. Well, uh, he's homeless, so he's probably hungry. Uh, Jeffrey, are you hungry? I think that's a yes, dude. All right, Jeffrey, so go downstairs and go in the fridge and grab whatever you want. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Je Jeffrey, Jeffrey, don't, don't hit your head. Look, duck, if you duck, <laughs> Jeffrey, duck, and go that way. Uh, 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 dude, it's, it's there you go, his there you go big guy. Mm -mm -mm. My hibachi looks so good. Oh. Wait, what's all that noise? Is that a giraffe? Hey! What are you doing in my refrigerator? Wait, pull that beer back! Wait, you, you get back here right now! Get back here! Oh, get back here, you little neck bastard! You thought you could get away! No, you can't! <laughs> oh, you can't take my beer! Get my beer back! Ow! 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 Uh, guys, I think I just saw Jeffrey run into the bathroom with a bunch of beer. Maybe he had to poop, dude. But, but the beer, though. Maybe he's thirsty, God! Let's go check on him, Cody. Uh, Jeffrey, you in there? Uh, maybe we should just go in. Okay. Jeffrey? Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, buddy. Jeffrey, are, are you okay, Jeffrey? Uh, I don't think he's okay. Uh, Jeffrey? Oh. Oh, oh, he's trying to get up, he's trying to get up. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Jeffrey. Careful, buddy. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay, let's just let him sober up. Yeah. Just just stay right there, Jeffrey. Don't hurt yourself. It's in time. Oh, Cody, I don't know what to do. Well, Junior, I told you it was a bad idea to bring a homeless giraffe into your house. I just wanted to help him out. I don't think we can help him. We gotta give him something to live for. But Toys R Us is closed. That's all he had to live for. Junior, why is there a giraffe stealing beer out of my refrigerator? Oh, that's Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us. I don't give a damn who he is. Look, he's stealing. That's what he's doing. But, but he's just going through a lot right now. Yeah, going through a lot of stuff in my refrigerator. Look, I called the cops, so ha ha. What a, oh no, Sheppy be called the cops. Hey there, somebody called the cops about euthanizing a giraffe for stealing? Well, we have a giraffe in the house, but it's Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us. Oh, no, not him again. What, you get calls about him a lot? Oh, yeah, all the time. Ever since Toys R Us closed, that guy's been a mess. He'll do anything for a buck. I mean, you name it. Street fights, prostitution, smack. He had an OnlyFans for a while, but nobody wanted to buy hoof picks. But no, that guy's a mess. Well, we only let him in the house because we wanted to help him out. Wh why would you do that? He's a wild animal. We were in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, well, Christmas is over, and so is his life, because I'm going to go break his neck. What, break his neck? Why? Well, that's how you euthanize a giraffe. They get big necks, so you got to snap the neck. Well, don't do that. We wanted to give him another chance. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. It's for the best. I'm putting him out of his misery. So where is he? He's this way. All right, officer. He's right here. Oh, oh, Jeffrey, what happened? Look at you. He used to be a childhood hero. Now look at you. You're pissed drunk in a bathtub. Yeah, that's why we're trying to help him, officer. Uh, okay, kid, I'll tell you what. If you can help him get back on his feet by the end of the night and get a job, then we won't have to put him down. Oh, okay, you mean it? Yeah. Oh, okay, Jeffrey, we're going to find a way to get you a job and bring Toys R Us back and, and just, just stay right here. Sober up, buddy. We're going to help you.
guys, guys, guys! The cops said that if we get Jeffy the Giraffe sobered up and a job by the end of the night, he won't break his neck. But how is that gonna happen? He's a drunk. Yeah, dude, there's no way he's gonna get a job. The only thing that makes Jeffy the Giraffe happy is Toys R Us. So let's bring Toys R Us back! But Junior, we tried that once before and it didn't work. Yeah. Well, guys, what do most people do when they're washed up and they have no money? Uh, sell their bodies? No, they do boxing! Oh, yeah! But he already tried that and he got his ass kicked. Remember the six-piece combo with the biscuit? Well, what if he got paid $300 million to eat that six-piece combo with the biscuit? But who's gonna pay him that much money? Well, most people fight Floyd Mayweather and they make $300 million in a night. And we don't even need that much money. We only need, like, a couple million to open up a Toys R Us on top of Macy's. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I would pay to see Jeffrey get his ass kicked by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, so let me go find a boxer that'll fight Jeffrey on pay-per-view. He'll make a couple million and then he'll get Toys R Us back and then he'll be happy and they won't break his neck. Okay. Right, let me go find one. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. <laughs> uh, Mr. D Money, sir. What's up? You looking to fight? Uh, yeah, we want to set up a fight. All right, a hundred million every fight, hundred million every night. That's the numbers I be putting up. Well, that's the numbers we want to put up. All right, good. Who's looking to fight? Uh, Jeffrey the Giraffe. He used to be the mascot for Toys R Us. He'd like to fight you. Not interested. Well, well, why not? Because I only fight people who are well known and who give me lots of views on pay per view. Because I'm pay per view. Well, um, Jeffrey the Giraffe is famous because he used to be the mascot of Toys R Us. People would love to see you beat him up. Nah, not interested. Uh, okay, you know what? How about I bet you all the money on this table that Jeffrey the Giraffe could beat you up in my living room tonight? Oh, that is a lot of money. Okay, deal. In your living rooms tonight. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And if, if we win, you pay us all this money. And if, if we lose, we have to pay you all this money. Okay, you got yourself a deal. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay, guys, the fight is set up. It is? Yeah, with a professional boxer and millions of dollars and everything. Wow, that's great. So he just gets knocked out and he gets paid? Maybe Toys R Us will come back. Well, Jeffrey has to win. Wait, what? Yeah, he only gets paid if he wins the fight. Oh, dude, we screwed. Junior, there's no way that drunk giraffe is going to beat a professional boxer. Well, he has to because if we lose, we have to pay them millions of dollars. Wait, what? Wait, well, listen, 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 guys. Jeffrey's going to win and the fight's in my living room right now, so we have to go get him ready. Just come on, we have to go to the fight. <gasps> All right, Jeffrey, all you have to do is win this boxing match, and Toys R Us will come back. <laughs> Are you ready, D-Money? Oh, I'm ready. Just ring the bell. Ding, ding. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeffrey, 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 you won. You won, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, 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 you won. You won, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you won. Go get the money. Go get the money. Okay. Wow, I can't believe Jeffrey actually won. I guess him being gigantic paid off. And look at all this money. We can open up Toys R Us again. Hey there, I'm here to snap Jeffrey's neck. Oh, look at Jeffrey. He's got so much money now. Yeah, because he got a job. Oh, wow. I guess you kids proved me wrong. I don't have to break his neck. Yeah, come on, Jeffrey. Let's go open up Toys R Us on top of Macy's. Yeah. It's back. Toys R Us is back. I am so happy. Toys R Us is back. It's finally back. I want all of the toys. So I call up the boys. And we jump for joy. It's finally back. Nerf guns. Hot Wheels and Legos. Jenga and dominoes, I'll never let go. It's like crack toys, R Us is back. Can't believe it, toys, R Us is back, 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 back. Candles, the sexy candles. I need them all. Show me their balls. Take off their clothes. Jeffrey, Jeffrey the giraffe. So glad that you're back. We brought you a Big Mac. We need him fried. I just, I just want one toy, but I can't afford it. So I'm gonna steal it. At the police, Star Wars, that's really cool. Blues Clues, that's not as cool. Monster trucks, that's really cool. Barbies, that's not as cool. Toys, our us is back. Can't believe it, toys. Our us is back, 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 what do back, you want? back, 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 yeah, back, 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 what is it's back. back on nigga it's, it's back. back so guys what do you want to do today i don't know dude cry <laughs> what are you guys
guys so sad? Because Tom Brady lost to the Dallas Cowboys. More like cowgirls. <laughs> I hate them. Junior, don't you like the Cowboys too? No, I've never liked the Cowboys. Well, then why do you have this Cowboys wallet? <gasps> uh, my grandma got it for me. I grew up a Cowboys fan. Listen. I'm just sad that Tom Brady lost to him. Yeah, he went out sad, dude. Blown the hell out. Yeah, bit over. What, Tom Brady got bent over. I, I didn't hear about that. When did that happen? We're just sad that he lost Cody. Well, do you think he's going to retire? <sighs> yeah, probably. I know. We'll never see him play again. Well, I mean, he is 45 years old, so that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> was eliminated from the playoffs two days ago, and now he's holding a press conference to announce his retirement. Oh, I'm not retiring. But you're not retiring? No, no, I'm gonna keep playing football till I'm 60 years old. Well, what team are you gonna play for? Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna keep playing football until I win 30 Super Bowls. Yay, look guys, he's gonna keep playing football. Damn it! Fuck! Well, I thought you guys would be happy. No, Cody, we wanted him to retire. Yeah, dude, this is too agonizing. You guys were literally just sad that he was gonna stop playing. Obviously, we're sad that he lost to the Cowboys, Cody, but that doesn't mean we want him to keep playing football. Yeah, he's super old, dude. He could die at any moment. What's he gonna do, wait till he's 60 years old and then die on the field that his kids have to grow up without a dad? He already lost his wife, Cody. He should retire and spend time with his kids. Well, maybe he just loves playing football. No, no, no. He doesn't love playing football. No man loves 300-pound men grabbing on you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say no man. Look, he's clearly unhappy, Cody. He looks pretty happy to me, and he has millions of dollars. No, no, no. He has a mental problem. Look, there's something wrong with his brain. He has, like, a curse on him that'll make him not stop playing football, and we need to help him retire. Yeah, dude, what are we gonna do? Yeah, how are you gonna help him retire? Well, we could break both his legs. What? Oh, I was thinking the same thing, dude. Listen, Cody, when a football player breaks his leg, his career is usually over. So if we break both of Tom Brady's legs, he's going to have to retire. But guys, I don't condone any of this. Now, listen, listen, Cody, look. He's going to be laying in a hospital bed with both his legs snapped in half, and his kids are going to be like, you done, daddy? And he's like, oh, I'm done, kids. And like, yay, daddy. And they're going to run off in the sunset. And he's going to thank us later, Cody. <sighs> okay, well, how are you going to break his legs? Hmm. I got a bat. Ooh, a bat. Hmm. Uh, okay, maybe I asked the wrong question. How are you going to get Tom Brady over here so you can break his legs? Hmm. We got to, like, lure him in with something that he likes. Yeah. He likes football. No, he oh doesn't. God, he doesn't listen. He's under a curse, Cody. He doesn't like football. Um, Cody, go on his Instagram and see if he posts anything on his story that he might like. Okay. Okay, I'm on his Instagram story. What'd he post? Hmm. Well, he has a picture of his dog on his crotch, and it says, Always looking for meat. That caption is crazy. Always looking for meat is crazy. Well, like, he just likes his dog. I mean, yeah, but always looking for meat, like, that's just crazy. Come on, dude. You know Brady got that thing on him? Yeah, I mean, I guess. That just seems crazy. Uh, let's see. Lua loving her boy toy? What the hell? What? Is he calling himself a boy toy? He just likes his dog, Cody. I guess. Uh, who's a good boy? Junior, this is crazy. And like, he just likes dogs, so I got an idea. We go to the shelter, we adopt the dog, we put it on Instagram, he'll come over and want to pet it. Well, a lot of people have dogs. That doesn't mean Tom Brady just shows up at their house. No, look, we'll tell him that the dog's looking for meat. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that could work. All right, so let's go to the shelter and adopt a dog. Okay. All right, guys, we got a dog. Junior, I can't believe we adopted a dog just so you can break Tom Brady's legs. <laughs> We're helping Tom Brady, Cody. Dude, what are we going to name it? Uh, Puffball Jenkins. Ooh, I like the name. It's sophisticated. Wait, why is it sniffing and licking me? Oh, uh, you know it's licking for me, dude. Oh, yeah, the post. Okay, um, uh, Joseph, grab my phone. Okay. All right, Cody, hold him down. Okay. Um... Take it, Joseph. Okay, dude, I got you. Oh, dude, this is a sweet pick. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's like, it's just like Tom Brady's post. Oh, yeah. Guys, this feels wrong. No, Tom Brady did that post. We're just trying to get his attention. Joseph, post it on my story. Oh, I got you, bro. Tom Brady will be here any minute. <gasps> that's Tom Brady! No way. Tom Brady? Huh, I wish I was Tom Brady. No, I sprained my pinky in high school, so I never went pro. But if I didn't sprain my pinky, I'd be ten times better than Tom Brady. Oh, by the way, did you post this on Instagram? Oh, yeah, I posted that. Yeah, okay, well, that is crazy. I mean, that picture with that caption, always looking for me, that is just insane, man. Well, I was just trying to get Tom Brady's attention. No, no, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to check on that dog to see if it's okay. Well, no, the dog is okay. Mmm, I'm gonna have to come check. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich real quick. I took my shirt off because I don't want it to get dirty with all the peanut butter and jelly. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're a dog. Uh, hold on. Let me just get a glob of peanut butter. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, 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 get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ow! 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 Yeah! Yeah!
Hey, oh, what's going on here? Get this dog off of me. Oh, get off, Puffball Jenkins. What the hell is going on in here? I was just trying to get a PBJ. What, a peanut butter BJ? Kid, what is wrong with you? You are sick. No, no, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, then why is there peanut butter on your wang? Well, I don't know. That's where the spoon fell. Oh, yeah, very coincidental. Oh, no, officer, officer, listen. The dog is always looking for meat, not peanut butter. Okay, I think I need to take this dog away from you. No, 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 no. We, we need this dog to break Tom Brady's legs. Wait, what? I don't know what you kids are talking about, but this dog is not safe here. Come on, Puffball Jenkins. Let's get you to a safe home. <laughs> they took our dog, Cody. <sighs> What's up, dude? Where were you at, Joseph? I was in Sonic. No, oh, that sounds way better than the peanut butter and jelly sandwich I was going to make. Wait, why do you have peanut butter on your crash, dude? Oh, I tried to make a PB&J, and then a dog attacked me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go clean myself up. Oh, dude, where is the dog? Oh, the cops came and took him. Wait, the cops came? Oh, man, thank God I wasn't here, because I have a warrant. I would have started shooting. <laughs> Someone would have died. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Oh, my bad, dude. Oh, yeah, say, say bless you. Right. Wait, bless you. wait, that's for sneezes. Yeah, wait, wait, what's wrong with you? Anyway, Cody, you put on a new shirt. Uh, yeah, so? But your shirt's right here. Oh. Uh, what happened? I don't know, you guys just fell asleep. Oh, dude, I got a headache. I can't remember anything. Good. Well, since the dog thing didn't work out, how are you guys gonna get Tom Brady over here? Oh, yeah, we still gotta get Tom Brady's attention. Um, what else does Tom Brady like? Football? No, he doesn't like football, Cody. Yes, he does, Junior. Dude, he might be right this time. Okay, Cody, since Tom Brady likes football, how are we going to get his attention with that? Well, Tom Brady still wants to play, right? So maybe if we made like a highlight reel of showing how good Joseph is at catching footballs, that would get Tom Brady's attention and he'd come over to sign him. Dude, I always wanted to be a celebrity. Oh, dude, let's do it. Okay, well, I mean, that actually might work. All right, so let's grab a camera, let's grab a football, and Joseph, catch some footballs. Oh, yeah. Dude. All right, Cody, make sure to get the really good angles of Joseph making these catches. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Me and my boyfriend have had a lot of practice with the camera. We should start an OnlyFans. All right, Joseph, go long. All right, dude. I'm open, I'm open, dude. Eat hey, breast got in my kitchen. I'm trying to make scorching hot Pringles. Oh, this shot's going to be high. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, why did you have to get in my way? I would have definitely made it to ESPN. Catching a ball over the fire? Dang! Yeah, why'd you have to get in his way, Cody? Junior, that was a shit throw and you know it. Well, the doctor's on his way. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. I have this sore in my mouth. It's like on the side and it burns. I play with it with my tongue, but I don't like it. No, that's okay. It's just a cold sore. It'll go away in a few days. All right, thank you. All right, if that's all you needed. Uh, excuse me? Uh, oh my God, kid, you are burned to a crisp. What happened? My friend sucks at throwing. No, you suck at being a cameraman. Listen, doctor. We were trying to make a highlight reel for Tom Brady because we wanted him to try to sign my friend, right? And so we were trying to throw the football over the fire, and Cody got in the way and fell into the fire. Oh, man, kids playing with fire is really dangerous. Somebody could have gotten seriously hurt. Uh, excuse me? Oh, right. Yeah, you did get seriously hurt. Well, this is why you don't do that kind of thing. Huh. I feel like I should say something else. Um, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No, that's not it. Uh, the, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I'm afraid of apples. iPhone. Ah! iPad. Ah! iPod. Ah! Oh, well, yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, apples, see. Okay, well, uh, if that's all you need... Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, kid. I'll give you a full body cast for your burns. Yes, please, I'm in so much pain. <sighs> you feeling better, Cody? A little bit. Well, kid, since you have burns on 98% of your body, I guess that makes you eligible for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So what do you want to wish for? You can meet anybody or do pretty much anything. Um... Oh, Cody, 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 ask to meet Tom Brady, and then we can break his legs. Junior, that seems wrong. Do it, Cody. <sighs> I want to meet Tom Brady. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I can get Tom Brady over here. Uh, wait a minute, don't you have a warrant? Ah! I'm out of here, dude! I'll get you, kid! <sighs> okay, yeah, I'll go get Tom Brady over here. Oh, good going, Cody. Hey there, I'm Tom Brady. I heard there was a sick kid here who wanted to meet me. Uh, yeah, Tom, I did. Hey, how about I give you a smooch? Mwah. Well, that was just a peck. Let's go in for another. Mwah. There you go, do you feel better? Uh, yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey, I'm Tom Brady. What are you doing with that hammer? Ow, 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 my legs, my precious legs. Ow, you broke both my legs. I'm sorry, Tom, it was for your own good. Doctor, come in here. 
Well, Tom, you broke both your legs and that kid did it, but you're not pressing charges, so I'm gonna go. Tom, why are you not pressing charges? Well, because it's not his fault. Well, yeah, it is. He broke your legs on purpose. Are you gonna retire now, Tom? No, of course not. Imagine winning a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. I'll be the Super Goat, the first NFL player to win a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. So you don't want to retire? Nope. You don't want to spend time with your kids? No, that's lame. You know what isn't lame? Super Bowls. You don't want to, like, enjoy life? Super Bowls is life! You don't want to, like, spend time on the beach with your millions of dollars? No, not unless there's a Super Bowl on the beach. Oh, that'd be cool. There should be a Super Bowl underwater, on the moon! Um, okay. Always follow your dreams, kids! <sighs> well, Junior, you didn't get Tom Brady to retire. I guess there's nothing that'll make him retire. Yeah. Always looking for me. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Me too. I. You want to go play basketball? We did that yesterday, dude. We can pick our noses. I can't reach my nose. I said arg. Cody, why are you dressed like a pirate? Well, guys, I want a free pirate cruise for me and my three best buds. What's a pirate cruise? Well, that's where you dress up like a pirate and you get on a boat. How'd you win that? Well, I ate the most parrots in under a minute at the live parrot eating contest. You ate a live parrot? I ate three live parrots. No ketchup? No mustard? Nope. Raw parrots. What? Jesus. You didn't eat three live parrots in under a minute. Yes, I did. I have the video right here. Wow, look at this young man go. He's on his third parrot. Hurry up and die, parrot. Eat me. Yeah, it's pretty graphic, but I sure can scarf down some birds. Isn't that wrong, Cody? Well, you eat chicken, don't you? Yeah, but it's cooked. What, you guys are telling me you've never eaten live chicken? Oh, you guys are missing out. It's the best. When they're gobbling for their life and pecking at you? Yeah, there's nothing like choking down some cock. Chicken's pretty good, too, though. Well, Cody, what three friends are you going to take with you on your pirate cruise? Well, the three friends I have right here in front of me. Jeffy, Joseph, and Ken. But why Ken? Well, these guys like pirate stuff and you don't. Like, Ken likes getting pegged, and Joseph knows all the words to every Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Never seen one of them. And Jeffy likes booty. Sure do. Well, I want to go on the pirate cruise. Leave Ken behind. No, I'm sorry, Jim. You're just not pirate material. What can I prove to you that I'm a pirate? Well, I did get a parrot to go from the competition. <laughs> Eat me! Yeah, if you can eat this parrot in under a minute, you'll be a real pirate. Can I use ketchup or mustard? Nope, you gotta eat him raw. Rawr. Eat me, pussy! Yeah, eat him, Junior. He wants to die. Um, where do I start? Where do I bite? Oh, the eyeball is my favorite part. Rawr. Oh, yeah! Uh, I don't know, Cody. See, he likes it. <laughs> okay, I'll... Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, Junior, he ate the whole thing, bones and all. The way it's supposed to be eaten. You want me to pick that up? Yeah, please. It's, um... You know what? Leave it. Anyway, congratulations! You can go on the pirate cruise with us! Okay. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you all have to dress up like pirates for the pirate cruise. Oh, dude, I already got an outfit picked out. Yeah, me too. I don't have a pirate outfit, but I could dress up like Peter Pan. But, Junior, you're gonna dress like Peter Pan on the pirate cruise? Well, I mean, I don't know how to get a pirate outfit, and I already have Peter Pan. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Look, the cruise is tomorrow, and I'll meet you guys on the boat. Your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that for the cruise. You didn't even tell us where the boat is. Yeah, what, what, what boat? What time? How? I guess we'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Jesus. All right, guys, welcome to the pirate cruise. I'm your captain, and I'm a buccaneer. Yar. You get it? I, I didn't have a pirate costume. Okay, you guys want a pirate cruise, so I'm gonna be sailing you around the seven seas looking for a party and, and maybe some booty. You guys into chicks? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, fat ones. Not really. Okay, well, I'm gonna be sailing you guys around. You guys just have fun and try to stay away from the back of the boat, okay? I don't want you guys falling out. What, kid, what are you supposed to be? You don't look like a pirate. I'm dressed like Peter Pan. Dude, you're definitely an elf. Yeah, you look like an elf. This is the only thing I had to look like Peter Pan. Okay, well, you kids just have fun and I'm gonna go drive the boat. All right, kids, hold on. I'm about to floor this bitch. Screw boat of safety. If there's any kids under this boat, they're about to get chopped up by the propellers. Beep, beep. Let's go. Yo ho, yo ho. Where did all the hoes go? I love this pirate cruise, Cody. Man, it is windy out here. Come on, Joseph, let's go get some Capri Sun. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, Junior, I found this froggy float. You should get in with me. Oh, hell yeah, a froggy float. It is so much fun. Hey. Whoa! Uh, uh, Jimmy, we fell off the boat. Help! Um. Hey. I know you got some. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Capri Suns because pirates don't have Capri Suns. I mean, I have alcohol. I'm not really supposed to have it, but I won't tell if you guys don't. Oh, no, Jimmy. They don't hear us. Now we're stuck. What are we going to do? Arg. Arg. I love this.
this ship! Wait, dude, where's Junior and Jeffy? I don't know. Yarrr! Anything you need, Captain? Bring me Peter Pan. Thank you. Now I can finish me peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, could you actually open it for me? It's, it's hard with my hook hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and could you actually take that little lid off too? That's, I, that's kind of rough. I, I, I couldn't really. Yeah. Th thank you. That's, I, I mean, no, I, I, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Yes, that's for. You know what? Actually, on second thought, could you actually just make the rest of me sandwich for me? Yeah, I, I'll go look around this. Look around the ship. Thank you very much. Sometimes the pirate life is not for me. Yo ho, Captain! So when you gonna let me touch your cannon? My cannon specifically says don't touch this cannon or you'll walk the plank. Come on, I've been a pirate for two months. I don't wanna shoot it. Let me shoot it! No, only I can touch the cannon. God, pirate life sucks! Oh, yo ho, Captain! Oh, it's somebody in that damn water! What, somebody in the water? Is yeah. it a mermaid? I'd be lonely. Ain't no mermaids like that. It's actual people. It look like kids. They're drowning. Well, kids? Well, go reel them in and get the net. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, Jeffy, they're never going to find us. We're going to be stranded here forever. Pirate ship. Pirate ship? Hey, a pirate ship. Wait, hey, right here. All right, Captain, I'm throwing the net. Ugh. Ugh. We got him, Captain, we got him. Bring him on board. Uh, thank you so much for saving our lives. Are you boys okay? Yeah, what y'all doing in that deep ass water? Well, we fell off our pontoon well, boat. it isn't Peter Pan. Wait, the boy that took your hand? It sure be. Oh, I've been waiting for years to get me revenge on you, Peter Pan. I'm not Peter Pan. Arg! Oh, good. We rescued one of our fellow pirates. I'll give you all me booty for getting Peter Pan for me. He's definitely one of us. But well, I'm not Peter Pan, though. Oh, okay, Peter Pan. Well, I have a crocodile on board. I've been waiting to feed your hand to. Come on! What? Uh, All right, uh, what was your name? Captain Crunch. All right, Captain Crunch. I know the sign says don't touch me treasure, but you can touch me treasure because you brought me Peter Pan. Okay. Touching the fuck out of it. Yes, just make sure you don't touch me pet rat Gerald. He's me only friend. What? Hold on. I've been on this ship for two months and I ain't get the chance to touch this gold. Well, you're a pirate. I don't trust you around me treasure. Hold on. He a pirate too. Well, he brought me Peter Pan. Look, look, I just gotta ask. Is it because I'm black? No. I'm the only black person on this pirate ship, and you won't let me touch the gold. No, no, it, it, it's not that. Oh, look, look, can I play some music then? Only if it's 100% copyright free. What? No Drake? No, no, no. See, we're pirates, but we don't pirate music. That, that would be wrong. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Oh, I guess not. Just, just put on some royalty-free music. <sighs> and you, Peter Pan, time for you to meet me, Crocodile. All right, Peter Pan, meet Carl, the hand-eating crocodile. <laughs> now I want you to feed him your hand like you fed him mine. I didn't feed him your hand. Oh, yeah? Then why do I only have one hand? I bet it hurts to wipe. Oh, it do. Sometimes it pokes through the toilet paper and I give myself a colonoscopy. But you, Peter Pan, you need to feed him your hand. But I don't want to. Do it! Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have been more clear. Fe feed him the hand that doesn't have a sword in it. Uh... Get him, Jeffy! Ow, 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 no, no, no. First mate, Tyrone, help me! Ow, 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 ow. Nah, you good. I get to touch your treasure now. Touch, 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 touch. <laughs> Jeffy, feed the crocodile's other hand! No, please, not be good hand. How will I wipe? Fuck! Hey, Jeffy, can you drive this pirate ship and get us home? Sure can, Junior! <laughs> Screw you, Peter Pan. You made me lose me good hand. Now I'm really gonna kill ya. You're not gonna kill me. Yes, I am. Ow, me good eye. Uh, uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna go tie this guy up. You just drive us home. All right, dinner. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Boober. Today we will be hearing the case of Captain Hook, who is being accused of kidnapping a child and then trying to feed said kidnapped child's hand to a crocodile to get his glorious revenge. Captain Hook, you do realize that the year is 2023 and pirates are not really a thing anymore, so what the hell were you doing? Why? Because Peter Pan fed me hand to a crocodile! Well, now both me hands, actually. Hmm, very interesting. Peter Pan, 
Is this true? Did you feed both of Captain Oak's hands to a crocodile? I'm not Peter Pan. My name's Junior. I'm just in a Peter Pan costume. Oh, shit. Wrong Peter Pan. Well, you still fed me other hand to a crocodile, and you hit me in the eye. So I hate you just as much as the other Peter Pan. So, Junior, not Peter Pan. I guess now you are being charged with feeding Captain Hook's hands to a crocodile. But I did that in self-defense. But I saved you and your friend from the ocean. You could have drowned. Wait. Wait, hold on. Captain Hook, you saved Peter Pan's life, but not Peter Pan. And then you tried to feed his hand to a crocodile? I, I don't understand. When I saved him, I didn't realize he was Peter Pan, and then I realized he was Peter Pan, even though he's not really Peter Pan, so I tried to feed his hand to a crocodile back when I thought that he was the real Peter Pan, which he's not. Okay, this shit doesn't make sense. Are there any witnesses who saw what happened that could tell me what the fuck is going on? Me, me, me! I was there! I saw the whole thing! It was self-defense, and uh, Captain Hook is racist. He wouldn't let me touch his gold or his cannon. Well, it's not a racist thing. It's a pirate thing. It's me cannon and me gold. I don't let anyone touch me cannon and me gold. Except for that crack ass you say from the ocean, you let him touch all the gold. I've been there for two months and ain't got to touch it. Okay, 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 hold on. How about this? This sounds like something I don't care about anymore. Captain Hook, you lost both of your hands, which seems like punishment enough. And you are dressed like Peter Pan, but you're not Peter Pan, so I order you to take that off. Because that seems like where we got confused and started losing hands, so get rid of that. Uh, I do order Captain Hook to get rid of that crocodile, because that seems like a liability. And I also, I still don't understand how you have a pirate ship in 2023. That still doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't really know where we go from here. I, I, I just, I'm gonna dismiss the whole case. You know, I don't really know who's in trouble, so case dismissed. Uh, I don't really know what the punishment is, so I, I think we can go home. I, I wanna bang this one more time, just to clear the air. There we go, that feels good. I feel, I feel like we're done. I think we can go home now. Man, what you think happened to Joseph and Jeffy? You're Joseph. Shit, what do you think happened to Junior and Jeffy? Do you think they got lost at sea? I the sea be a cruel mistress. But seriously though, I am pretty worried. I, I'm so worried I haven't even touched my parrot I ordered from Uber Eats. <laughs> Eat me, daddy. I will later. Hey guys. Junior, you're alive! Dude, what happened? Well, me and Jeffy fell off the boat and then Captain Hook saved us and he thought I was Peter Pan because I was dressed like Peter Pan. So he tried to feed my hand to a crocodile because apparently Peter Pan fed his hand to a crocodile. But then I fought back and fed his other hand to a crocodile and then we went to court. What? I I'm so confused. That's what the judge said. Arr, I'm here to get me revenge. I'll kill all of you. B Captain Hook! Uh, what are you doing here? The judge said just forget about it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is, is that Patches? <laughs> Captain Hook? Oh, Patches, I missed you so much. I'll tell you what. If you let me have me pet parrot Patches back, I won't kill all of you. Okay, you can have him. Oh, come on, Patches. <laughs> You couldn't 